Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again. Previously, we had a really good time as Tainted Cain, surprisingly. Like, who'd have thunk? But anyways, I'm going to play some more uh, greed, not greed, some more uh, normal hard mode as Tainted Lost. I am really thoroughly enjoying Tainted Lost and you guys seem to enjoy it as well. So I'm going to play more as him. Um, <clears throat> as for the question of the day today, what I did is I went into chat GPT and just asked it for 50 questions of the day. So we have quite the lineup. So let's find a good one, shall we? Once the game loads, because I can't tap out until it loads. There you go. Let's go over to ChatGPT and pull from our nice list that we've got available to us. Yeah, that's just 50, so um, let's have a look-see. One that we haven't gone over so far. What's your favourite aspect of your personality and why? That's an interesting one. What's your favourite aspect of your own personality? Hmm. I would say for me, it's probably my sense of humour. Um, I feel like... I enjoy my sense of humour a lot, and I feel like a lot of other people do as well. I mean, I feel like that's one of the reasons I'm able to do YouTube, is that other people clearly enjoy my sense of humour, um, and or... Bernhardt. And or, um, the, the things that I say and the things that I do. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to hear from everyone else what, um, what yours is. Because yeah, that's the... I, I, I've said it before, but I always like these questions of the day where they're, um... They're, they can be drastically different from person to person. You can get some really wide variety of answers. Because they're just really entertaining to read. Um, normally I like like sort of leave um, a, a good couple of days, sometimes up to a week's worth of comments, and then kind of go back through them all in one go. And it can be really entertaining to read through them all. By the way, um, you might notice uh, that the last few weeks when I've been replying to comments, some of them I haven't been replying to and I've just been hearting to basically say I have read this. Basically, if, if it's a comment that doesn't fully warrant a response and it's just sort of an acknowledgement of it being read, I'm going to do that from now on just because it saves me a lot of time and I love the idea of committing to replying to every single comment, but it is, I have got to the subscriber count now where that is becoming a less obtainable and less plausible. Okay, let's restart. <laughs> Good start. Uh, a less obtainable, less plausible thing to do. So I'm going to heart comments rather than reply to them sometimes. But to be honest, I do try to still reply to as many as I possibly can. And the vast majority of comments that you leave, especially question of the day related ones, do warrant a response. And so I will um, respond to them. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, just in case you see a heart comment and you don't see a reply. That was kind of close. Don't like being as close to this guy as I currently am. That was kind of an awful room there. Bedding basement is just rough in general. Just rough. Why am I the way that I am? Especially on a run we get Jacob's Ladder as well. Come on now. You fool. You fool. Double death card. Might as well take a double death card. You watch me die trying to navigate through this room. Oh, we're good, we're good. Oh, I can't believe I lost it. Got this little cat here. What does this do? Grant's all look based bonus based on how many coins you have. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. We'll take that. I like it to have the coiner. Careful of the fires. But yeah, our electric here, real damn good. We'll try and hopefully stay alive and keep this for as long as we can, but I cannot put any guarantee to that because we don't have a holy mantle, so things are a little scary. Things are a little scary. This guy is a potentially awful boss just because he has homing. Um, he's not a hard boss, really, in terms of HP, but yeah, he does have um, potential to fire out some nasty homing. It's really weird as well, because sometimes the herming like that shot there just kind of whiffs, and other times it just comes right for you. Um, right, we are good to go to the next floor. I think we're doing Dark Path this time around, aren't we? Let, let's, let's figure that out, shall we? We... Hmm, we've already done Partial Dark Path. Boss Rush and Hush would be good to do. Try and do Mother, maybe. But yeah, this is really good with Spectral as well. Another good thing about this. Jacob's Ladder is really good with Spectral. Baby Pluto's not bad at all. I'll take him on board. Take him on board as my little chum. 
my little fella, my little pal. All right, runes out of the hack. Very confused for a hot minute there. Come on. All we need is one little card. All we need is one little ittle card. That's so hard to ask. There's a card. It's not the card we wanted. I don't even know why I bother using tower in rooms like this, because it doesn't place the bombs correctly in large rooms. It always places them all dead center. Good. Apparently this guy doesn't realize there's a wall between us, which is rather nice for us. Yeah, this, this stacking luck bonus seems pretty decent. It's like money equals power for luck, uh, for luck rather than damage. I like that. This is such a decent run. It's so annoying to me that I'm definitely going to just lose it to some bullshit. The gamble there. It's an interesting room in terms of how many uh, pots we've got going on here. We have a lot to work with. Trying to get something going, but sadly not, not too much. Crack that open as well. Ah. Only soul hearts could give us uh, holy mantles. We can't we can't get uh, holy cards from Tinted Rock, so it's still worth going for. Right, next boss. Very, very bad bomb placement by me there. I kind of placed it on top of the gap by accident. It's okay though, everything's dead. Oh shit. Oh shit, no it's not. Didn't expect that. That was kind of scary. Good. Just keep it going for now. I want to try and do boss rush. We'll see if we get a holy card. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Probably should have gone to the shop that last floor, actually. Did I even go to the shop? I might have already been to the shop, I can't remember. This this run has a lot of legs right now. This run has a lot of legs. But yeah, I think it's interesting in terms of the question of the day, like, thinking about it like, what is your favourite aspect of your personality? It's not really something you think about very often, is it? You don't really think about the aspects of your own personality. It might be, some, like, you might think of it for a family member or a friend, but you never really sort of self-assess like that. This is a bit of a rough room here because there's potential of um, firming shots getting us. Good luck so far. Good, come on, game. Come on. You know you want to just give me a little bit to. a little bit of something to feed on. Chariot card now, which is a little bit of safety, I suppose. Depending on how bad the rooms end up being. Okay, yeah, we've got Chariot for a sort of panic button now. Still not really look what we're looking for. Sacks could be good. We really need the shop to pay out for us, is, is the, the main one. I mean, that is good, but still not what we want. There you die. What the hell? Why'd that pooter go all the way over there? What the fuck? That was strange. We lost some luck from spending there. Still need to find our item room here. God, the amount of risk right now is, is, is scary. Very scary. This looks secret roomy to me. Ah, it's not really? Okay. I should have checked this room first. Oh no, it, it could have still been here. No, you throw your goddamn explosive head at me. Do not want, do not care for. Please step away. I lost the holy card so early as well. That's the worst thing. Such a good run and I didn't even lose it like late in. I lost it so early. 
Book of Lucifer is also pretty darn good here. Right, just get gone. I'm not doing extra rooms unless I absolutely have to. Again, if the, if the, if it's a rough boss, we charity card. We have to. Charity? Chariot. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. More cards. God damn it. Yeah, we, we pop it. We pop it here. This is a potentially really rough boss. We got ourselves perfection. Gives us a bunch of luck. We get this, which is fine. And we keep it going. We just keep it rolling. Keep the ball going. <sighs> Adds a lot of extra stress and a lot of extra tension to the runs, though, I guess. Oh, we also have piercing now because it's uh, Curse of Darkness. This, uh, this item we just got, this arrow, gives you uh, piercing during Curse of Darkness, which is a pretty cool bonus, to be honest. Not many items that give specific bonuses during Curses. Bit of extra damage. Oh, okay. Fuck. That was kind of crazy. Again, we're really looking for the shop as soon as possible here. Because the shop is going to be where we um, potentially get the highest chance of holy cards. Because not only can we buy holy cards from the shop, but like booster pack could be in there. And booster pack is like not a guarantee, but a very, very high chance of giving you a holy card. We also could just find like a bed or something on this floor. Dude, this this uh this book is giving us great damage right now. Like there could be a bed in here. Some of these rooms do have beds in them. Just a bunch of haunted chests. Sadly not what we're looking for. We do have that extra look now though, so we're getting a lot more room drop, which is nice. Got this bad boy. It's pretty good, but I'd really rather have a holy card before jumping into one of those. But that is a really decent item. Good. Oh shit, there's a jumper. So many pills. I just need cards. God damn it. Mini mush is decent. Speed upgrade is nice indeed. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa! What's going on with this guy? He doesn't normally do that. That was very, very confusing. He normally just jumps towards you. Oh, it's annoying me how good this run is because I know it's just, I could lose it so fast. Oh, damn it. Game won't give me the goddamn card or any other way of getting the card. No rainbow poop. No nothing. I just have to go for the boss. Rough boss, but I don't think this guy can brimstone, so he should die pretty quick. Another great item here. Take that. Okay, we keep moving. We've made it very far without being hit after the first one, but it's just it's just the, the scaries of the potential imminent death incoming. There's just so many fiend folio enemies that could just bring everything to such a swift end. <gasps> Holy card. Okay, okay, we're back in business. We just gotta make sure we don't let up. We we just because we got that, that doesn't mean anything. We still have to play just as cautiously as we were before. Doesn't change anything about how cautious we were playing. Oh god. Without flight and stuff, this would be a horrible room. Ooh, is this mysterious liquid? That it is. Very much like that. Okay. Pretty, pretty happy with how this is going. That was very close. That one does give us a damage up, but only a tiny bit. If 
contract from below was really nice as well. Grab that. Ten steps, two collectibles in the room into a choice between Angel and Devil. Nice, that's really good. Use that on our boss item. That's an enemy that can, that can really easily hurt me. This is really, really good for uh, chests right now. Because we're just getting a lot of them. Yeah. Taken care of in both ways. Boom, boom, boom. Extra bombs. Luckily, the brimstone guys didn't bother moving there. That's a blessing in disguise. Double, double bombs. Oh, God damn it. Kind of a rough boss here. They die quickly, but they have a few attacks that can be really rough. Especially if he throws out the egg. That's one of the attacks I hate, but luckily I got past it. Okay, good. <laughs> Not so bad. Essence of Judas. That sets our damage to 7, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we'll take this instead. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't take that. One of these is reflected, and I don't know which one. Oh, it's that one, okay. Uh, so we'll take the daggers instead. Okay, keep it going. On a roll at the minute, speeding through the game. Try and go for item room first, which I think is this way. Don't try and get all the dagger stuff. What? Okay, I'm going to give myself a holy card back, because that is... Broke my goddamn holy mantle and it shouldn't have. That's not how that works. Um, not how it's meant to work, at least. I don't know what the code for a holy card is. One second. Okay, we are back. I've got it. I, I know it's. I know it's literally cheating. I realise, but it's cheating to outdo a goddamn bug that just screwed me over. Reflected items. That's not how they're supposed to work. They're not supposed to remove your holy mantle. Um. Because they don't deal damage to the lost, so they shouldn't remove your holy mantle. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I've spoken to the developer about it, and they've even said that that's not intended behavior, so... I feel perfectly justified. Got a black market here. Interesting, because we can take one of these. Um, oh, what the fuck? Get out of here, you. Um, member card... I don't really know what we're best off with here. I think starter deck? Yeah, we'll take starter deck, because that just means more potential chance for holy cards, right? Because every pill becomes a card now. I think that works out. Right, good, good. That's probably secret room right there. It isn't all right even. Right. You open. It did it again. Oh my god. Please fix that. <laughs> it's not how that's meant to work. Reflected items don't damage the lost, therefore they should not damage its holy mantle. Also, why is there so many goddamn reflected items all of a sudden? Bugger off. Big frustration. Yeah. Oh, we're managing, we're managing. Still looking for the item room. Cash room, sadly, not an item room. Another reflected in there. Why is there so many things that are reflected? Bugger off. But also, another... I wouldn't say it's a bug, but it's a problem. That if an item is reflected and also about to disappear, like with this curse, it's incredibly difficult to actually tell that it's reflected.
Here's the clubs. Doghead isn't very good. Um, oh, I, I kind of see the idea here. I use Mr. Me, and then I can get him to fetch this for me. Haha, <laughs> that's such a cool room. I love that. And then I can glass spin down that. Turn an enemy into a one-use golden slot machine. Hmm. This might be interesting. That's not a golden slot machine. That's a regular slot machine. Strange. I'll take that so I can buy more cards if I get the opportunity to go to a shop on the hush fight. Get out of here, you. Yeah, it's not turning him into golden slots at all. That's a regular ash slot machine. Okay, I'm getting rid of this item. It's clearly not working as it, is, as it should. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to go back and get my original item because it's supposed to turn things into golden slot machines and it's not. And... I'd much rather have the extra excess damage this book is giving us otherwise. It's kind of funny to get so many slot machines, but still. Don't want to deal with you. That hand can be very problematic for me. Do not want to touch that chest. Right, boss time. Good. We want to go dark path here, which is good because we get the damage now. Um, spider bite, I guess. Good. We just have to see how this goes. Oh, I almost lost my holy mantle there. Thank God that Brock was there. We don't have a spare holy mantle here, so that's a little bit of risk involved. <sighs> I'm just going to sit, sit over the top of these rocks here and basically play it safe. Okay, my dagger's at max rank now, I think. What are you doing up there, my guy? You look okay? here. Should be careful if any brimstone base enemy spawns. Like the adversary. Adversary is a brimstone base enemy. Stay above him. Wait, he can brimstone above him? I didn't know that. Also, that eternal heart, I believe, provides us with a holy mantle. So we gotta leave that there. It's a very much just in case sort of thing. Can you die, please? God damn. It's taking a while. Good. good. Still stacking that damage up. You are brimstone based. Luckily, you were easy to take care of. As will you be, small baby. We got Kingpin coming in. He's annoying, but he should be really easy to take care of. Indeed, he was. You are kind of brimstone based, but not really. Thing is, if we can get boss rush done, then I'll be like happy for like no matter what happens at the rest of the run. Even if we die later on, we've still got something accomplished with this character. No, you blew up one of my rocks, you dick. I was using that. I see you under there. Big boy here. Slightly annoying, but not completely awful. 
Oh wait, this guy's brimstone based. There you go. Good. We got these rocks here actually. Oh, we did it. We unlocked the something card and we get permanent piercing. And I don't think this does anything for us when we've already got a holy mantle. But there you go. There's something done. Did we come in here? We didn't. Oakley, Dokley, we have made some progress. Now we got to try and do Hush. Got to hope we can do Hush. Um, what's this red room over here? Hush room? I don't know where that's coming from. Two levels off of that one room. Nice. Looks like we know where we're going here. Pretty obvious where the boss is, I think. Can't remember what that guy does. I see him so often, but I never really know what he's gonna do to me. We got plenty of keys and stuff, we don't need to worry about those right now. Just keep it safe. Play a fair game. And we'll be alright. These little heads rolling around are frustrating. Oh shit! Okay, that was a fair that was a fair hit. I forgot that enemy had been reworked and reacted to him extremely poorly. It's okay though, like I said, we've already achieved something. Annoying boss to get. Good. The speed is nice. Why did I pop that book on this floor? Also, if I'd have left him, that card would have been a holy card. Oh boy. I'd have been angry. At myself, but I'd have been angry. Oh, I love it when you have enough damage to just break their heads off. Such a good change. I mean, that's pretty good because now we have out like we have we're able to keep playing the run as a different character if things don't go our way i don't know if we've already done hush as judas or not but it's something Ooh, we'll check what this is sadly not Shop. Nah, tele telebombs are just awful. I hate them. The way they work confuses my little brain. God, I need to click my wrist. Hurting. Uh, slightly scary room there. Don't know what to think of this. Okay, got through it. That room was extremely scary. Don't think I'll be taking the left hand, thank you. Come on, card, you couldn't have been a bit better for us, could you? You're just gonna spawn things, right? Is there a huggable guy behind you as well? Why don't you hug me and give me a, um, oh, tractor beam, hell yes. to the yes on the tractor beam. Oh, so many cards. None of them the right card, though. Yeah, tractor beam is really good for us here. God damn. Crazy without chests we're getting. Can't get what we want. The hell how kind of chest was that? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it takes HP, because I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> okay. 
I've got to kill this guy real quick before the shots come in because I don't know if I can dodge them easily. Good. I'm going to try and do hush. No hit. We're going to try. Golden version of that. I'll take that. That's my hush. Oh, good, good, good. Right. We've got to hope there's a card in one of these chests. Please, please, please. <laughs> or the shop. We've also got the shop. Yes. We got a holy mantle back. We're in the running, baby. We are in the running. Um, Three dollar bills kind of scary, but I'm going to take it anyways. Definitely the nails. Yes, please. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage. There it is. Oh, and we got small rock as well. Awesome. Is there another crawl space? Wow, okay. Um, it's not really that many things here that we want, is there? I guess we'll take Humbling Bundle. None of, none of the others really make any difference to us. Right. Quickly go in here and buy one more battery to get a ton of damage. Here, font doesn't make any difference to us. Right, hope for the best. We've got good damage. This should be a reasonably quick fight. I don't know if I'll be able to do this entire first section without getting hit because he is a little bit spicy now. Got a bit more zing and pep to him. There you go, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we'll just kind of have to see how this goes. I'll try and get bombs in there when I, when I can. It's not super plausible. I don't know where these bombs are going. I'm like... It's very confusing, actually. I'm like shooting the bombs into him and they're just kind of disappearing. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? It launched me backwards. Okay, it's just launched into the other side of the room. I should stop using bombs. I don't know why it's doing that, but it certainly is. Oh, God. It doesn't like those flies. It got real framey for a hot second. I think it was trying to spawn on the mysterious liquid creep. Whoa! What the fuck? Stop planting bombs. It's super dangerous. Something to do with Tractor Beam does not like bombs at all. Right, he's already halfway dead. This is the first attack that he has that has a good chance of hitting us. And even then, it's not a super high chance. Sadly, we've got him bleeding, but he's not moving, so... Bleed doesn't really do any damage to enemies that aren't moving. Like, we're for half a second every now and again, we pop it to 52 damage. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Yeah, whenever the flies spawn, it spawns a lot of mysterious liquid creep, which actually does a considerable amount of damage to him, but makes the game freak out a little bit. Doesn't really know where to, uh, where to look. We've got some explosivo shots in there too, that's nice. This attack's always so fucking scary. You never really know how it's going to play out. It's normally a pretty easy attack to dodge, but just feels very overwhelming. I think we've just about got him. There you go, baby. There you go. And... I am going to take a gamble and do Void. I know I said I was going to go Dark Path, but this run's pretty good. 
if we can get another holy card before the boss, I reckon this one has somewhat of a chance. Don't like this room, I've got to say. This is not a, a very warm, welcoming first room to see. Yeah, my thinking is I should get a lot of charges to my books and my damage should stack pretty high. Most rooms are going to pretty much be exactly like that, where they clear almost instantly. Hungry Souls rather nice here. Excuse me, get away. I should hopefully get a holy card somewhere along the, the way. Token there. Um, Move those apart. Just so I can use that token for a holy card if we find one. Gotta remember when I kill this thing to stay the hell away. In fact, just leave the room and come back in. Right, keep this going. Golden pots. Another charge there. Gotta remember this is a three room charge now. I keep fucking assuming it's still a four room charge and waiting that long. But it's a three room charge now. No holy card just yet. Lots of haunted chests though. Lots of haunted chests. I can't remember if using an Emperor card on this floor takes you straight to the boss or not. I don't think it does. I think it, well, it takes you to a boss, but I don't think it takes you to Delirium, is what I'm trying to say. I kind of just kind of died immediately as I walked in there. What the fuck? Imagine if all of these were items. God damn. We would be quite the rich boy. Don't let these guys fire. They have deadly shots. This has to be a boss, right? Yeah, thanks. Thank goodness it is. Got him. Damage, good, good. Right. Keep it moving along, people. Keep it moving along. I should actually try and save a few of those for the boss fight if I don't get a holy card. Definitely a leave and re-enter situation there. There's a holy card. We got one. If we can get a second, then we're really in a good spot. Oh, for God's sake. I don't really know how I got hit there. I think I just walked into one of the fires. It is what it is. Dude... What? How? How am I so unbelievably bad at going the right direction with the delirium thing? Delirium flaws. I just can't do it. I just can't go the right way. Unfathomable how bad I am at it. Right. Dude, are you actually fucking kidding me? I don't know if you saw what happened there, but a goddamn, um, 
A goddamn bomb, uh, bomb spider just dropped directly on top of me. Man, I was stood in the middle of the room. Probably not a great place to stand, but come on now. Okay. Delirium no hit. Great stuff. We would have been in such an okay spot to fight this guy if that hadn't have just happened. I'm not saying we would have definitely beaten him, but... Much better spot than we're in right now. No hitting delirium is quite the task. Especially with the bosses that he can spawn at the minute. Oh, dude, there's an eye down there. What the fuck? Where did you come from? Thank God I noticed that. That would have been such a bullshit there. Also, my little Pluto baby, whatever you want to call him, baby Pluto guy, is not helping right now because there's a lot of tears on screen that I really don't need to be focusing on. There's also some red poops about here that I'm sure I'm going to end up walking into. At least feel like that. Where the hell is he? Okay, there he is. Moving in ways I don't agree with. There's more red poops about. Very much not okay with the red poops. I need to really move the fight over to this side of the room, don't I? God. What the fuck have I got myself into here? It's all stuck in that corner. My god, we did it. That was so stressful. Oh my god, that was so stressful. But we did it. Oh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Oh my god. A lot more stress than I needed today, but there you go. Hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.